Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 10th, 2016. Wanted to share photographs with all of you from around the world. And these photographs are literally coming from all around the world. I have gone through the photographs the best that I can over the time period. And as you can clearly see, we are catching spherical objects in the sky anomalies of all different kinds the photographs that you're taking a look at now are coming from the FAA weather cams in Alaska over the course of the past year we have come up with some fantastic photographs in the very extreme northern hemisphere in Alaska what these are is just beyond me they definitely look like a planet they have shading they have texture the photographs amaze me I want to thank the gentleman who sent these photographs in he's been keeping his eye on these weather cams for some time now and producing some absolutely fantastic photographs you could see in that photograph they're trying to chemtrail the planet most definitely and you can clearly see that this is behind clouds it has shading on it this photograph is similar to the one that I took today these are coming from a welding lens very nice lady sent these in today she did a fantastic job of capturing the planet with her welding lens over her camera once again fantastic job I really appreciate all of the work that you guys are doing and if you just have some patience with me it does take some time to go through all of the emails and take the photographs and analyze them and then get them uploaded in a program for you guys to view them now some of these photographs are just completely light anomalies of some kind they're definitely very very unusual this photograph seems to be of the moon I think I've been getting a lot of photographs of this green anomaly in the skies over Alaska coming from the FAA weather cams again that it's not the moon by the way and um, these photographs same here uh, these are spherical anomalies that are being captured in the sky all over the world this photograph that's definitely the moon but what was underneath it I have no idea it definitely looked like a planet to me uh, this negative photograph clearly shows a spherical object off to the left of the moon this photograph, I've never seen a lens flare like that in my life. But as these photographs are coming in, more and more people are doing what I'm doing. They are putting a lens cover of some kind over their camera. They're blocking out the rays of the sun. And they are clearly, clearly capturing this planet orbiting our sun. Now, I know a lot of you have asked me about this orbit, and it's, it's kind of very hard to explain without having very specific diagrams and information on the exact orbit of the planet around the sun. Now, I do know that it is on a very sharp diagonal orbit around the sun. As far as the timing, well... I really couldn't give you the information on the timing. Now, this time of year, I'm able to see the planet in the morning hours, about 7 a.m. till about 11 a.m., and then it disappears from my view where I'm at. Earlier in the summer, I was able to see the planet in the late afternoon from about 4 o'clock till about 7 p.m. and then it would fade away these photographs going across your screen are captured from the all sky cam network 
and these photographs you can see these on a daily basis if you go to www.allskycams.com you can go ahead and start pulling up the sky cams from all over the world and you have to have patience there's quite a bit of them and I could give you some advice by looking at the little thumbnail and if it has a lot of clouds over the thumbnail you're probably not going to see anything but if you see some sh uh, sunshine and daylight definitely tune into that sky cam take a look at the footage and you will probably see this planet orbiting around the sun and the sky cam network is definitely a place to go if you want to start investigating this planet and seeing its orbit and once again these are spectacular photographs coming in from all over the world and once again everyone is taking my advice they are shielding the lens on their camera or their cell phone in some way or another i have people using sunglasses uh, people are using welding lenses there are many different ways to shield the sun from your photographs because you will get photographic anomalies when you are photographing the sun there is just no doubt about it the trolls that go through my channel and my video well they let me know because they are all photographic experts and we know that they are paid to discredit everything that is done within Nibiru Planet X the Nemesis Solar System research but there's no doubt the photographs that are going across your screen now they are spectacular some of them are completely unexplainable I can't explain them but what I want to do is I want to thank all of you for taking the time to take these photographs and send them in keep the photographs and video coming in you could email them to Nibiru Planet X 2016 at gmail.com don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook don't forget to subscribe to our Nibiru channel for all of our current updates and most importantly like I always say keep an eye in the sky